My name is Ash Jones. My pronouns are she, her, or Ash Air. I'm 25. I'm the, I'm the Green Party candidate in the Cullen area of West Belfast. I'm uh, a worker in the disability arts sector, so I um, help connect people to uh, access provisions that they might need for accessing different arts things. I live in Belfast and have done since I was 18, um, but I grew up mainly in Fermanagh, but all over the place, so I know my accent is a bit wibbly wobbly. I'm in a band called Strange New Places. Um, we've been running for about six years or so uh, in the local punk scene um, as a sort of queer punk, indie punk sort of operation. Um, and we're in the process of recording more things as we have. I'm a trans woman, but I'm also non-binary. Um, somewhere in the sort of gray area uh, around non-binary and female. I came out as transgender when I first moved to Belfast at age 18. I was assigned male at birth, um, but uh, it wasn't until I was 18 and moved to Belfast that um, I came out and realised that I didn't identify with uh, that, that part of myself uh, and decided to start transitioning at that point, sort of as that realisation happened. Not all trans people will want to go through um, hormonal or, or other treatments, um, but for those that do, it's often uh, a life-saving measure because the extent of discomfort that um, we feel or are made to feel with ourselves and the persistent um, harassment from being visibly trans um, creates worse outcomes for our community. We've got particularly high rates of suicide and poor mental health. We've got high rates of being assaulted um, and healthcare and the ability to transition and to live genuinely is um, a life-saving measure. So there's a couple of layers to um, discrimination against trans people generally um, and for myself personally, uh, one, one layer of it is sort of street harassment, which happens sometimes. I mean, I've been shouted at in the street um, and I've been uh, harassed and, and called names and I've been um, put into sort of online hate compilations against trans people. Well, trans women aren't a threat to cis women. Um, we have for the most part, the same needs uh, and the same desires for safety. Um, trans women in male spaces are uh, a lot more likely to be harassed and to be abused, to be physically assaulted, uh, apart from anything else. Um, and trans women's presence in uh, women's spaces generally is no, no threat to safety. Um, I understand when people say, uh, what, if, what if men who want to abuse this uh, come into this space, um, but they don't need that excuse um, in order to, to invade those spaces. They were going to abuse people regardless. Um, so I think conflating those two issues is something that anti-trans uh, peddlers have um, sort of been trying to to force together the idea of trans people and abusers in a way that is cynical uh, and does uh, intense damage to the trans community. So I'm standing in the Colin area of West Belfast for the Green Party um, to be elected uh, as West Belfast's first Green Councillor as well as Ireland's first uh, out trans elected rep um, to bring that sort of green, fair voice um, through uh, to the communities that, that need it most. Uh, and I think electing a, a trans representative, um, especially in an area that hasn't had representatives from the Green Party before, um, would send a clear message that Belfast supports equality and that Ireland uh, holds no place for hate. Well, what I've always said from um, my music through to uh, politics is that if one young trans person feels less alone as a result of what I've done, then I've done well. Um, so if there's even one person that feels a little bit more seen 
as a result of the campaign, then I'll find that a success.